Hello! Over here! I'm glad to see you again. I hope the traffic wasn't too nasty. Anyway, look at this sweet Mercedes Citaro K. We're in Sunny Springs. Of course, it's a smaller model, but I'm sure everyone in town will be hopping onto this bus and our little project in no time. Great! I'll just take a seat over there while you make yourself comfortable in the driver's seat. Take your time to familiarize yourself with the controls. Don't forget to close the doors and remember to turn on the lights. I think you may be a bit taller than the driver who delivered the bus. Don't forget to adjust your seat after you've started up the engine. Are you ready to bring public transport back to Seaside Valley? Great! Then release the parking brake and let's head for the exit. Oh, before I forget, I've got a little surprise for you. Just follow the route on the GPS. Next stop, Victory Road. You see, my predecessor wasn't a fan of public transport, which is why they shut it down in the first place. In Sunny Springs, where I used to work, we collaborated closely with the local bus company, which improved the satisfaction of our residents significantly.
Oh, the first stop is coming up. I hope you remember your training because I've invited a couple of people along on our maiden voyage. Next Just stop, park. Victory Road. Hello, everybody. Good morning, Miss Tannhauser. Glad you could make it. Hello, Mira. Thank you for inviting me. Hey, Sam. How's your daughter? Thanks, Mira. She's been really busy lately. Oh, she's rather lively, isn't she? Glad to have you here. Everybody, please take a seat. We'll be departing shortly. Now, this is the hard part. Do you see that clock? Do you think you can make it to the next stop in time? I'm so glad so many people have turned up just for this little test drive. They really seem pleased with the prospect of once again having a working public transportation network. Gee, are we in such a hurry? It's going pretty well so far, isn't it? The next stop is right over there. Aubrey and I moved here a while back. We found a great apartment just up that street. And we've really been enjoying the neighborhood. There are a couple of great... <laughs> Speak of the de devil. May I introduce you to my... Fiance. Hey, honey. The neighbors asked if they could borrow our lawnmower. Sure. Send them my regards. Looks like we're good to go again. Oh, wait. Someone's blocking the door. You'll have to tell them to move so we can close the door and get going. I think we've got them all now. Did you know that this bus has a Blue Tech diesel engine? It has an output of 210 kilowatts. I did a lot of research before we decided on this model. Next stop, Siegwalden, Lido. I really love to walk this promenade in the summer. You always have a light breeze, and the trees offer some shade, and the river's close by if it gets too hot. Gee, are we in such a hurry? You sure won't have any punctuality problems with that approach. Our next stop is over there. Oh, sorry. I'm just Next super excited. Lido. Hello. A ticket, please. Oh, this is just a test drive of sorts. 
But wait, it would actually be a nice opportunity to make sure the ticketing machine is working properly, wouldn't it? Hey! I didn't think you'd show up. <laughs> hey, Mira. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I'd make it. Professor Zellerman, didn't expect to see you here. As if I'd missed this opportunity? My fiancé already sold our car in anticipation of the return of the buses. What? Really? Then let's hope this venture is a success. Have a nice day. Hello there. Could you lower the ramp for me? Sure, that's no problem. Could you lower the ramp so they can board the bus? Thank you so much. Having buses will make it so much easier for me to get around again. This is going quite well so far, isn't it? I think we can move along now. The Lido is a really great place for a bit of relaxing leisure time. There are nice rest areas, and for a reasonable fee you can get a wonderful massage. Oh, there are even a couple of people I don't know here. Seems word has gotten around. This is our terminal stop. All passengers must disembark the bus here. After that, we'll drive to the garage to park the bus. To everybody who's still on board, I want to thank you for participating in this drive. With your support, we'll bring public transport back to Seaside Valley. Excuse me, can you help me get off the bus again? Oh, of course. Would you help the passenger in the wheelchair to get off the bus again? I think that's everyone. The route to the garage is marked on the Jeep. We've been talking to some graphic designers to create some decals and wraps to customize our buses. Hopefully, we'll get some design submissions soon.
Everything's all set up over there. Well, all in all, I think that was a rather successful maiden voyage. Wouldn't you agree? Congratulations. Let me just collect my things. We've put some systems in place so you can start planning out routes and growing our little project. Let me show you real quick. Okay, I've written down a number of things we should try before we get you back out on the road. It's just to make sure the infrastructure is okay and ensure we can deliver a robust public transport system. First things first, City Hall wants us to run a pilot night line just to see how many people would use it. They'll finance an additional bus for you in return. I've already prepared a route for this and spread the word. Select the pre-existing route and drive it by night. 